Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. We're going to be doing a fast and simple install. We're going to be installing Emergency Uniform Pack 8.2 Law & Order, Emergency Uniform Pack Serve & Rescue. And then I'm going to show you how to do this the fastest way and most importantly, the correct way how to install these uniform packs. I just follow along and if I go too fast, just stop the video and rewind a little bit. As always, if you get any use out of today's video, hit the like button, comment, and sub if you're new. Also, be sure to catch me over live on Twitch if you like multiplayer law enforcement. I really appreciate all the new people that have been dropping by over there. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash benzoeffect. I go live at 6.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. In today's video, we're going to be installing three things. That's going to be EUP, otherwise known as Emergency Uniform Pack 8.2 Law & Order. We're also going to install EUP Serve and & Rescue and EUP Menu. All links will be provided down in the description, and let's get today's video started. Let's hop on over to the lspdfire.com site. We're going to grab Emergency Uniform Pack Law & Order 8.2. Now it's important to note, if you want to get the later versions like 9.2, the one that I use in my videos and streams, uh, you could become a Patreon. It's like $2.99 just to get that thing. But we're going to come over here. We're going to download this file, and it's something very important. When you download this, get the top one. Don't get the bottom one. A lot of you guys are getting the LML package installer. You don't want to get that one. You get the very top one. It is an 8.2 RAR file. So we're going to download that. The next step we're going to go ahead and over here is Emergency Uniform Pack Serve and Rescue. It's by Alex Ashfold. We're going to go ahead and download this one. And once again, don't get the package installer. Get the top one, 1.4 RAR file. We're going to download that. The next step is to get the EUP menu. We're going to download this and get this onto our desktop. Okay, we have all files onto our desktop right now. It's important to have a clean desktop when you're working with these things. We're going to pull up our main game directory. I'm sure you already know how to do that since you're installing an, an actual uniform pack. We're going to pull up the LNO 8.2. And you'll notice it has a plugins folder. And it has an EUP LNO 8.2.oiv. I'll show you what to do with that in just a moment. But you'll see this plugins folder. It's going to merge with this one. But you take the entire folder and drag it right into your main game directory anywhere where there's an empty spot. And it's going to merge with this one. So the next step is to get the OIV into the game. What you want to do is you need to have a mods folder. If you don't have a mods folder, you can very easily corrupt your game. So we want to only work inside the mods folder. If you already have a mods folder, that's great. If you don't have one, what you do is go anywhere there's an empty spot in your main game directory. You're going to right click, you're going to go to new, you're going to go to folder and make sure you name it mods, M-O-D-S. The next step is to work with OpenIV. If you're not familiar with OpenIV, I made a five minute install tutorial on how to get that thing to work for you. Look at the top right of the video, you'll see an OpenIV install tutorial, just takes five minutes to watch that, pretty easy. We're going to fire up OpenIV. We're going to go to Windows. Once OpenIV is open, what we want to do is go to Tools first, and you want to make sure your managers are installed. What I mean by that is your ASI managers. Click on that. When you do this for the very first time, it may look something like this. Super important to install ASI Loader, so make sure you install that. OpenIV.ASI. This one is not 100% necessary but I use a lot of Rockstar Editor, so I'm gonna install that one as well. The next step is to move this to the side. We need to turn edit mode on, super important. And you're gonna get a little prompt. We're gonna click on yes. And then what you wanna do is very simple when you install a package installer. Before we used to have to go to tools and then package installer. I'll show you an easier way to do this. Take the EUP LNO 8.2 OIV file and drag it anywhere you want doesn't matter. Just let it fall. And then it's going to ask you where you want to install this. So go to install. You always want to use the mods folder. And once again, if you don't have a mods folder, if you don't see that little prompt, then you need to back the video up and watch how to create a mods folder. Click on mods folder and then click on install. Make sure it doesn't go into the other folder because you could corrupt, corrupt your whole game. Okay, installation succeeded. I'm going to close that out. And then we're going to grab the other file. We don't need this one anymore. This is the search and rescue. So we're going to open this up. And you'll notice it's an EUP search and rescue 1.4.oiv. 
they'll probably have some upgrades so it may be like 1.6 by the time you watch this video who knows you can take the oiv once again just drag and drop it anywhere into open iv doesn't matter let's so make sure edit mode is on click on install and once again it has to go into your mods folder if you go into game folder it's going to corrupt your game mods folder and then go to install installation succeeded we're going to go to close and we are now done with this and we are done with open iv and the next step is eup menu we're going to pull this up we're going to get back into our main game directory we're going to open up files and you'll see plugins in a rage native ui you must have both of these in order for this to function properly we're going to highlight both files and we're going to drag and drop now i have a rage native ui i'll go ahead and replace that's fine okay the next step is very vital in order for rage to recognize your eup menu you must be able to have rage call on it in the game so you'll see your rage icon right there you should have that from your main game directory we're going to double click this and hold shift key for about two to three seconds so i'm going to left click this twice and hold down my shift key to get to the rage menu once inside the rage menu my advice is to have the plugin timeout threshold set to 60,000. If yours is set to 10,000, change it to 60,000. What we're going to do next is go to plugins. And then you'll notice that if sometimes if this is unchecked, that's EUP menu, make sure that is checked. It has to be checked. Otherwise, the game will not recognize it. Load these plugins on startup. These are load sequences. So Rage can tell the game how to load. You'll obviously have LSPD first response. And if you don't have that installed, why are you here? Make sure EUP menu is installed or clicked on right there. That has to be checked off. And we're gonna save and launch and I'll show you what it looks like in game. Okay, here we are inside the game guys. Now the cool thing about EUP is that it's a standalone plugin, which means that technically you don't even have to be on duty to actually activate the uniforms and whatnot. So mine is activated with F11. And then by the way, if you are not happy with the F11 key, uh, you can actually change that. So what you wanna do is pull up your main game directory, go to plugins, you'll see an EUP folder there. I uh, click on that folder and then go to settings. And then you can actually change your menu key right there and then don't forget to save it. So if you're not happy with F11, you can make it F10 for example. I'm happy with F11, so I'm gonna leave it like that. Once in game, you can actually go into your EUP menu at that point. So for example, EUP Law and Order, we're gonna go to LSPD and you can start clicking on outfits, whatever you prefer. And they've got uh, tons of outfits in here, you know, whatever uh, suits your fancy for, you know, the actual patrol. And then they have uh, another LSSD, for example. And some of these are really cool. And then you can just kind of keep going and see what it looks like on the back side right there. And they even have a harbor type patrol, detective, whatnot. And then uh, they also have um, CFIB, it could be an agent, task force. Uh, so these are really cool. There's a SWAT uniform. And then uh, you can also do, uh, for example, military police. Uh, if you want to do that, for example, uh, they have DOA, which is pretty cool. And then you can see what it looks like on the back side right there. Now they also have, once again, we installed the Serve and Rescue. So if you go into that, uh, they do have some turnout gear. EMT First Class, there's just a t-shirt, pretty nice. And then there's tons of other uniforms that I probably won't go over the entire thing here. So uh, you kind of get the gist as to what these look like. Uh, they do have uh, actual lifeguard, things like that. And then there's, uh, you can actually do a group six as well security there's a bouncer but i usually go into the law and order and then i usually pick a for example uh lspd and then i roll out with something that looks sort of like that so it kind of up to you you can also back up a little bit and press the backspace key go into wardrobe and you can actually go into create a new outfit and then save it that way if you are not happy with maybe the way the gun belt looks or something like that you can create a new outfit or you can save this one and with eup being its own standalone plugin officially we're not even on duty yet so you can actually go to any police station you're choosing 
go to the front door, for example, press the E key, go through the process of getting on duty. And then uh, obviously your uniform is probably not gonna be the way you want it. So then you press your menu key to get to the EUP, mine's F11, and then you can go in here and then create uh, which division you would like to go for. And you can do it that way. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and head on out of here. Thank you to the patrons and the members of the Benzo Effect channel. You guys are freaking awesome. I couldn't do this channel without you. Uh, to become a patron and get your name mentioned on every single video that I produce, it's only $1 a month to start if that's something that you're interested in. There is a pay, uh, Patreon link down in the description as well. And you can click also on join next to the subscribe button if you'd like to become a member as I release some videos a little bit early for you, you get to see it before other people. Thank you guys so much and we'll see you on the next patrol. Stay safe.